sweetest sound. There's country influences there. There's um, a little bit of soul, which has come through in this this new album that I'm doing here at Salter. Uh, raw. I like it to be raw and, and acoustic. I love acoustic sounds. Um, very intimate and felt, heartfelt. So all those different kinds of genres and feelings and emotions coming into yeah whatever comes out. Really, I don't plan what I'm going to write. I just write, and that's hard when you're trying to categorise it under a certain genre but I don't plan what I do I just I just write so all different genres how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed the way I keep a performance fresh is the emotion in a song. Um, if I'm not connecting with a song, I find it really hard to, to be fresh. And I think people who know me could probably tell that my heart is not in something. So my heart has to be in a song um, or a style in order for it to be fresh. Tis grace hath brought me safe. But I'd love my music to, to touch people's hearts, change their lives, hopefully. I mean, that's a pretty big dream to have. And that's cool if it doesn't do that for people. But it'd be nice to think that, you know, music comforts people and inspires them and, you know, because we all need it sometimes. So it'd be nice to think that music that I write could do that for people. I think for me this this has got that sound kind of takes you back. Yep. Retro. Yep. 60s, 70s sound to it. It's nice to listen to, isn't it, as well? Mm. So having those old school sounds. Yeah. And of course, not, you know, taking away from the message of the song as well. Yeah. This is one of the ones that we tracked uh, live together mm. as a band. So, um, I don't know if magic's the word, but the, the dynamic that you get between musicians when it's, when it's in a live scenario. Um, you can really get into a song and really feel it. Um, so that's one of the one of the numbers that we did all together, and it was good fun. <laughs> we had good fun as well. Well, I grew up in the church, so I felt like God has always been there. Like I've always spoken to Him. Um, I think He's been there throughout my life to pick me up when I've fallen down. Um, the first, the very first album that I did record was more kind of heartbreak reflective. A little bit sombre. I don't know if sombre is the word, but a little bit melancholy. Um, and I can see God still in my life, even in those times. The next album I did after the storm was more positive. It was definitely a time when God was working in my life big time, just helping me through all the dark times. Um, and the, you know, the third album I'm doing is a gospel album. So I think that God's slowly, um, it's becoming more more about him and less about me, uh, actually. And I'm cool with that. I'm totally cool with that. There's something emotional there uh, when you sing Christian music. And growing up in the church, I remember singing a lot of these old songs and they just touched my heart so deeply. Um, Nearer my God to thee especially. Um, and it's the same for a few of them, you know, Be Thou My Vision. There's just something really deep and meaningful, um, which is probably lost we've lost a little bit along the way because we do, you know, we did them so often now we've kind of moved on to a new style of Christian music. So I just thought with the style that I do with that reflective, raw, intimate, folky, you know, singer, songwriter style that I do, it'd be nice to do hymns. And for some reason they just really do touch my heart in a special way that other music doesn't. I was born.